Hello YouTube, this is Tackly Bad, and today I'm going to show you some basic knife skills before you get into any of the other videos on my channel. So, the things that you're going to need for this video are a cutting board, a good knife, and a potato. Now another thing that you I recommend doing is having, you can see this, I just have a wet washcloth underneath my cutting board, and that's just so that it won't slip around when I'm cutting. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop this potato up uh, and use some basic knife skills just to get you familiar with the knife. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and our potato. And you're going to want to look around and if you'll notice that this side is actually wider than this side, um, that means that we're going to want to cut this side off right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it down here. I'll do it this way so you can see. We're just going to slice right through that. And see now we have a nice flat base so our, our potato is not going to roll around on us when we're trying to cut it. Okay? So after that, uh, I should also mention that when we cut, you hold the blade up here on the actual blade. You don't hold it like a samurai or you're trying to cut somebody down like a ninja or something. Uh, you're going to pinch with your uh, pointer finger and your thumb right there on the blade and then you're going to wrap the rest of your fingers around and that just gives you a lot more blade control uh, you don't ever want to put your finger on the top of the blade because uh, it, it's going to slip off and it's just it's not going to work for you so you're just going to hold it like that and it's going to feel weird at first but it is going to make things easier so after that we're just going to use basic claw grip and that's rolling all of your fingers back and gripping it just like that and you're just going to slice straight down through and we're going to do sheets. Okay? So straight down through and sheets. Keep going. All the way through the potato. Okay. So now that we have sheets, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's get all of these off of the cutting board so that we're being, have lots of room to work and we're being safe. Um, so you're going to cut them into uh, matchsticks or julienne as chefs call it. I prefer calling it a matchstick because when you call it a julienne people make fun of you and say ooh you must be some tough guy chef and then they talk shit about you so just call them french fries or matchsticks. So you're just going to cut all the way through finish these all up. And what you're really trying to do is to get a a nice rectangular shape. Um, they don't have to be perfect. You're not restaurant quality chef. You're not trying to impress anybody. You're just trying to learn how to use a knife. So cut all the way through. Don't go too fast unless you actually know what you're doing. Uh, I recommend just starting out slow and working your way towards uh, speed. And with the potato, because it's a starchy um, vegetable, it's going to stick to your knife and you're going to get some goo on there. Uh, that's normal. Uh, what you can do is you can actually run hot water on your knife and that's going to uh, let the potato slide off a little bit better if you want to. It doesn't really bother me all that much. So now that we have these, we basically have a bunch of french fries. And if this is how you want to end and you just want to make french fries, I'm going to show you how to cook them later. Um, so if you want to do it like that, you can end it like that. I'm actually going to cut them further down. So what you can do is take a couple of them and just cut them down a little bit further. Alright, so when you're finished up, you're going to have something that looks like this. It's really easy to make. Um, and you might think that, oh, I just wasted a fucking potato just to do some nice skills. The cool thing about this is you can cut up all the potatoes you want, uh, and you can actually make something out of them. Uh, and it's super easy to make. Even a Neanderthal could make something out of this, which is cool. Um, which is why I'm making it. <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness... We're going to get all these all lined up and we're going to move over to the stove.
All right, so now that we're over at the stove, we're gonna get a pan out, be it cast iron pan. Um, I prefer uh, something that isn't nonstick for this, uh, just because I'm, I prefer cast iron in general. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna turn your heat up, and we're just gonna let that heat up. All right, so now that the pan is actually hot, I've added some vegetable oil. Uh, you can use any kind of oil that you have, but I just use vegetable oil because that's what I have on hand. And we're going to get that just so it's good and hot. You know that it's hot uh, when, the consistency of it's bleh, when the consistency of it changes from what you usually think of as oil to something that when you shimmy the pan back and forth, it's actually going to kind of look like water. And I'm going to show you how much oil I actually put in there. So you can see in there, I have a good amount of oil in there. And then what you're going to want to do is, we're going to come over to our potatoes. We're going to take that up and slide down over here. I'm not going to do this with one hand because you never want to fuck with oil. Put that right there. And we're just going to take this, slide all of that into the pan. If it's going to sizzle like that, that means it's hot enough, it's a good thing. I'm just going to kind of level that out so that they're all kind of touching the flame equally. And because it's so hot, uh, you're not going to have to worry about the potatoes actually sticking to the pan um, because with the heat, it's actually going to keep that from happening. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let this sit and let that kind of uh, fry for a little bit and then I'll come back and, and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so after a while your potatoes are actually going to start to brown you're going to want to keep them moving a little bit. And you, you can really brown them as much or as little as you want. Um, I like mine a little bit more on the crispy side, so I'm going to let these go a little bit longer. Uh, and then I'll show you how to drain and finish off the um, potatoes. Alright, so now that our potatoes are done, and you can see that they're pretty brown on mine, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to strain them onto a plate. Um, you're going to put paper towels down on the plate and you're going to strain them onto that. Uh, or if you're retired like me and forgot to buy paper towels, you can also use a washcloth that you never ever want to use again ever. Uh, once you drain oil onto it, it's going to be weird for the rest of your life. It's never going to be the same. So just assume that you're never going to use the paper towel, the uh, dish rag ever again. Uh, if you're a kid, go ahead and take your mom's dish rag. I'm sure she'll understand. So what you're going to do is you're just going to pour them straight onto it, okay, and let those drain out for a while. And you can kind of hear how crispy they are just from that. And this is a clean uh, dish rag, don't use something that's dirty, that's disgusting. So yeah, um, what you can also do once you have that is just come over and grab some salt and some pepper. And just kind of season that as much as you'd like, or as little as you'd like. I like mine to taste kind of like french fries. So I put a lot of salt on them. And then the pepper is just kind of an added bonus. Just a little bit of pepper. All right. All right, guys. So that is your basic knife skills video. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, like, favorite, and subscribe. As always, I'm Technically Bad, and thank you for watching.